Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Click View Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Click View Learner, and in this video, I will going to talk about the alternate states feature of Set Analysis. So, in my previous video, I have talked a couple of uh, features about uh, the Set Analysis. Uh, utilizing those features, you can actually control the behavior of your matrix and charts. So in the similar way, uh, we will be using what alternate states feature is and how it is useful. So generally, uh, before so before I you know move ahead, I'll just give you a quick example uh, from the real life applications or for alternate states. So generally, uh, whenever you are doing any analysis, one of the very uh, you know commonly used ex analysis is comparative analysis, where you compare. Uh, the results of two categories and then seeing whether a category is doing good or bad compared to another. So for example, we have employees who are, you know, booking the orders for their respective customers in these uh, respective dates. We just want to see uh, on by compare, we just want to see how the employees are performing when you are comparing on a month on month basis. So we will going to create a bar chart uh for our employees where we will be comparing uh one employee with another employee by using the alternate states so let's go ahead and uh, you know start uh, setting up the structure for that so before uh, producing the chart we need to define these states to define these states we need to go in settings uh, document properties and click on alternate states Currently there is nothing because we have not created any. So click on add and let's give it the name as state one or probably you can say employee employee one or employee two. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, it doesn't make any problem like what name you are choosing. So I will give state one so that we can represent it properly. And another state is state two. So you can create st as many states as you want but just you know make sure your user is not confused with so many states right so click ok and now we are uh, halfway done the next process is after defining the states is basically uh, you know creating l list boxes like this so I need to clone this because we have already one so I will copy this object and paste as sheet object all right so i have one employee here box and another employee box is beside to this okay now i will create a okay before creating a chart one configuration we need to do is in these prop in these list boxes is defining the state so this alternate state within the general tab will now become available and you can select state one for selecting employee from this list box and state two for this right now we will we can easily compare so after this we need to do some settings in the bar chart and for that we will going to create a new bar chart chart bar chart next we want to lay the numbers on the order month so we click on order month and the next is basically the sum and we want a sum so first we will going to use two expression first expression is for first state another expression is for second state so for that we will going to use sum and then the brackets and uh, then the set expression and we will be picking a state sta state one within the brackets state one and uh, intersection with whatever selection you are doing so for that dollar sign and uh, dollar and after that we need to say sum of order total right so this is the expression for first state copy this so we will say it as say for simplicity state one add this make it a state two okay 
and state to just click finish all right so currently no problem you know everything is equal but as we will move on and select here from the state one how is and doing compared to all the employees including herself so this is how the situation is but now you want to compare Anne with Laura so you click it and you can say Anne has done the business in month one month two month three it was comparatively very high but Laura has only done the business in month three which is very very low right so so in this way you can do comparative analysis between two different employees and figure out you know the how they are performing so now with against Maria against Andrew against Nancy so so this is how uh, you know you can impress your management by doing the comparative analysis which is so flexible to use so this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video I hope uh, you have found this video useful and uh, I will meet you in the next video with a new topic till then bye bye